Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here with a emergency alert message. It is Saturday, June 20th, 2015. And before shooting this special report, I spent hours in research and contemplation. And I want to just be clear. You need to listen extremely carefully to what I'm saying so that this message is not lost in the haze of the cacophony of other voices and factoids out there. And the reason I say that is not in some lecturing, condescending way. It's because it hit me this morning when I was out with my children having fun at the Green Belt that even though I'm close to this information and research constantly, that the mere fact that so much is happening in our world I had gotten to the point where I wasn't clearly recognizing the writing on the wall for what it is. And I'm about to get to that information in a moment. And what helped spur me further to that was not one but two different calls today by extremely prominent wealthy people who were asking me, why aren't you leaving the United States before October? thinking that I'm super in the know and have all this inside knowledge, which I do to a certain extent. And to both individuals who don't even know each other, I said, what are you getting at? And they said, what are we getting at? You talk about it every day. And again, I'll cover that in a moment. And they proceeded to tell me about all the other people they know with high-level inside connections and, and, and military connections that are getting out of the United States. Now, I told this story five years ago, it's now five years later, that I was setting up a trust, family trust, at the most prestigious law firm probably in Austin, Texas, downtown, and I ran into a very attractive uh, middle-aged lady who told me who she was, I didn't know who she was, and told me that I was going to get very big and successful and that she was preparing to leave the United States and that other elites were already leaving to New Zealand and other areas. And then I talked to some Hollywood folks and they knew about James Cameron planning to leave the United States. And then later that ended up happening. So the point is, for all these years I've been hearing about this, and then it comes out in London Guardian about the elites running to New Zealand and the Cook Islands and Luxembourg and all the billionaires leaving Israel and in the last few years, all of them. And it just started mounting. And now we see what they're running from. What they've been told. And so I've been so close to it that you wait for this stuff to basically happen forever. You work as hard as you can to stop it from happening. But then you enter a territory where I'd say there's about a 50-60% chance we're going to have a major war with Russia. There's going to be a total worldwide financial meltdown and basically World War III. And by the way, it's all these top analysts now saying it, and George Soros and everybody else. We were saying it was a danger at first because of our sources, but halfway hoping we were wrong, or halfway you know, trying to convince ourselves it wasn't true, because who wants to believe this stuff? I'm not happy about being vindicated. But you get so close to a problem, when you're an expert, you then kind of get blind in a way is what I'm getting at. Now, with that preface said, here's what I'm breaking down. I'm not here to scare you. Having awareness of this, having a group awakening, group consciousness tremor over this information can stop it from happening. And we'll be ridiculed if it doesn't happen, and they'll say, why didn't it happen when humanity stopped it? That doesn't matter. What's important is that we do engage in alarmist activity because we're in alarming times. World financial meltdown, we're about to break that down. Major military conflagrations and escalations. Elites running to the hills and to their bunkers at an accelerated rate. All of this happening and now Europe began to plunge into the biggest financial crisis since the 1920s and 30s this week and it's barely in U.S. news and it gets worse. And it was hiding in plain view. The one person I talked to is huge in entertainment. The other is in banking and military. 
And they were all saying the same thing. They said, Alex, are you seeing what's happening? Central banks are having runs on them by governments for gold. And again, it's speeding up to a crescendo. Elites are hoarding cash while top bankers are coming out saying ban cash for the public. That's been all over the news. Ron Paul says the day of reckoning is about to hit. Everybody's got this bad feeling. We don't want World War I to happen. We didn't want World War II to happen. They happened. We have one now. It could be the end of life on this planet. Let's get into the news, and I'll give you my final conclusion. Look right here. Voice of America yesterday. Greeks turn to cash as bank crisis looms. What is the bank crisis? They're preparing a bail-in where they take part of your bank account and give it to private banks. It's not even your personal debt. It's global derivatives debt the government signed on to. The bank's debt. Zero hedge, links to London Guardian, you name it. What do they know? Why are so many of the super wealthy preparing bug-out locations? From the Ozarks to you name it. Here's CNBC. Ron Paul, stock market, day of reckoning is near. Okay? Let's continue. It's time to hold physical cash, says one of Britain's most senior fund managers. There's a pile of gold in Manhattan. This happened just Friday. There's a pile of gold in Manhattan. This is all this week. Texas wants it back. Texas is pulling its gold out of the private Federal Reserve. And Jade Helms coming up. They know which states aren't going to go along, which state leaderships won't go along with martial law. I thought Jade Helm was just a drill at first. I didn't know why they freaked out so bad ahead of time. It's the cover for military occupation of the Southwest. And I've been told that by high-level military now. And we found all the documents and did a special report, Jade Helm Mystery Solved, this last week that's gone viral, where we had all the documents where it's about rounding up the public and controlling the media. And, and, and I mean, it's, it's just, it, I, I can't even believe it's actually happening. I mean, we're on the edge, folks. I, I, I mean, people are asking me, why aren't you leaving the country? I mean, it's now gotten to evacuation point. You know, like when Krypton's blowing up. I mean, it's, it's, it's or you know, Nazi Germany's taking over. Uh, there's a pile of gold in Manhattan. Texas wants it back. Texas is taking it back. China re reveals what's behind its golden curtain as they pull their gold out of the U.S. Where's Germany's gold? Germany, this is, Germany's trying to get its gold back, and the U.S. isn't giving it back to them because it's really gold-plated tungsten. I heard that 15 years ago from insiders. Now it's all come out. And I was also told by insiders 35 years ago when I was like 6, 7 years old, and then 20 years ago, and over and over again by all the insiders, they said all we've been told by high level is when you see rainbow or or, or the colored money come out, that's when they're getting ready to plunge the economy and bring in the global cashless society. And I was hearing this from FBI agents, Dallas cops, insiders when I was six years old. There's a reason I've been here warning. And I mean, I'm sitting around the coffee table while my dad's drinking beer, you know, with FBI people and, 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 and John Birchers and stuff hearing all this. And now the money's coming out all rainbow colored. I mean, and I'm like, whoa, this is all happening, and I'm not even freaked out. Everything we've heard that was going to come is now here. U.S. troops fighting Russians in Ukraine. I mean, our government funding radical Islam to attack Christians and kill them. I mean, it's, it's just craziness has taken place. Where is Germany's gold? Germany wants their gold. Russia wants their gold. They all want their gold. And people are bugging out in mass. And here's my final point. When I talked to these folks, they said other billionaires and, and people worth hundreds of millions of dollars and insiders are leaving. And it's basically reached panic point now. You know, James Cameron left four years ago. Other Hollywood. So we already have evidence that we're a 50-60% chance that there's going to be a global financial meltdown. Every expert we talk to says it's coming. Mainline news says it's coming. I don't know. Bubbles could go on for longer. But we need cooler heads to prevail. We don't want war with Russia. We don't want to destabilize the Middle East. The chutzpah, the arrogance, the bravada of the elite needs to stop right now. The military is in the stars and stripes training to take on veterans and gun owners. We've got IBM computers you know, deciding which troops get medical care and who doesn't. I mean, we're living in a dystopia already. But the old, free, wealthy society is still there partially. They're, they're running in parallel, but the evil is absorbing the good. This is a detailed report. I'll be breaking it down more tomorrow with a Sunday show, 4 to 6 p.m. Please tell your friends and family to tune in. 
Tell me what you think in the comments below at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, and we'll also post this to YouTube and a Facebook video. But folks have got a reason to be upset and concerned. Oh, and the government has been caught, and George Soros trying to foment race war in the country with all these bizarre incidences. I mean, you add all this together. It is dire. It is dire. Uh, I hope we can get the word out. I hope you get the word out. I hope that cooler heads prevail. I hope this is de-escalated. But the bank runs have already started in Europe. They're already talking about taking control of your after-tax money to bail out governments. I mean, this is a total commitment by the elite to implode the world system and bring in their world government. The Pope's calling for a planetary government to have carbon taxes. All the globalists are coming out of the closet right now. They're making their move. This is their blitzkrieg. This is the, the, this is the launch. It, it's basically already begun. The war has already begun against humanity. The New World Order takeover is here. It's here. The New World Order is here. I'm just trying to think of the words to describe to you. It, it, it's, just, it's all happening. They got senators calling for microchips when people get arrested to be put in their bodies, CBS News. I mean, it, it's just everything's starting to happen, and it's just the beginning. It's like going over the edge on the roller coaster. And now we've got to the top, and we're starting to go down the plunge. So strap yourselves in. Alex Jones here just trying to see what you think. Hopefully we can get the word out and, and, and try to avert this. I don't know what I call this video. World War III is imminent. Uh, global financial collapse is imminent. Uh, elites evacuating west. Uh, I, I, I just, it's, it's so epic to just sit here. It, it, it's like a few times I've been in a car wreck and somebody runs a red light and you see the car run the red light and you realize it's going to hit you and things go into slow motion. I've had that experience twice. One time somebody ran a red light when I was a teenager. Another time a storm blew us off the road and I was spun down in the woods and hit some oak trees and it was like slow motion and it, it's like that now. I just want my kids to have a future. I, I, did, I didn't want to be right about all this. I saw the dangers. And now it, it's just all here. All right, that's it. Infowars.com. Alex Jones signing off. Please do something. You're our hope, humanity. Together we can hopefully do something about this. Alex Jones signing off. Thank you.